This program is made possible by BibleWayMedia.org, overseen by the Uloga Church of Christ in Uloga, Oklahoma. Thank you for listening. Hello, and thank you for joining me today for the Quiet Moments Podcast. I'm your host, Russ Earl. In Judges chapter 7, in verse 21, we know in this section we deal with the army of 300 versus an army of about 10,000. We also know that that army that was with the Lord had was outnumbered only in number physically, but also was outnumbered by those who had weapons about them. We find in Judges 7, verse 21, the Bible says, And every man stood in his place all around the camp, and the whole army ran and cried out and fled. This being a result, if you remember, in that section they actually had pictures, and they were bursting those things together and basically frightened the army, of course, with the help of the Lord, and the army who they were, who they were facing, who was much larger than them, fled. That's what we read about there in verse 21. It's interesting when you think about that, an army that whose weapons included pitchers outlasted or maybe overcame, rather, an army of thousands, an army that could have easily won that battle physically, we know here in Judges 7, verse 21, that the biggest difference between all was not the numbers or the weapons, but it was that God was with that army of 300. We know in times in life as well, we too may feel that we are outnumbered as Christians. We see those around us. We see those who are against the Christian way of life, those who do not care for at all for the Word of God or for the church in general. But we should think about things such as this here in Judges 7, where these, this army of the Lord was greatly outnumbered, and yet they had the victory. Whenever we are faced with difficult times and we feel like we are outnumbered, we should remember things such as this. We should also remember that whenever we are facing any so any difficulty that we must stand on the word of God. If that army of 300 had decided to defy God, to go after idols and to put God away, so to speak, that army no doubt would have been greatly defeated that day. But we know the difference in that time was that God was with them. Today, the Christian has the same person with them just as that small army did. We have God with us as well. So when we, when we start to feel like we are outnumbered, let's remember who it is, as the Bible says, who fights for us. We know today it's not in a literal way like we found there in the armies. And we understand God did not come down and fight for them, but God did provide numerous victories for his people time and time again in the Old Testament when it came to battles. But more importantly, God provides the victory when it comes to spiritual battles for us today. Then we feel like everyone is against us. And when we turn on the news or we start talking to some of our neighbors, we may begin to feel like everybody's against us. But just as they had that great victory there in Judges 7, we too, when the time comes, when the day of judgment, we with God will have the supreme victory. So not, don't let our, don't let yourself be one of those who become downtrodden or to become weary during this life of trying to be faithful to God. But instead, let us stay the course. You know, in Judges 7, if you remember in that situation that God actually dwindled down that army over time on purpose to make them, to make it very clear so there could be no reasoning for them trying to get the win to themselves, the army dwindled down to 300. And then God brought the victory. Logic says they should have been easily destroyed, but instead we find in verse 21, the Bible tells us that the whole army ran, cried out, and cried out, and fled. The whole entire army. Because God gave the victory. So let us remember who gives us the victory still today. It is God. We thank you for tuning in today. We hope you enjoyed this program. You can find out more about Bible Media by visiting us at BibleWayMedia.org. You can also find us on several uh, social media platforms now. You can find us not only on Facebook, but you can also can find us on Tumblr. You can also find us on the Twitter alternative known as Telegram and on the Facebook alternative known as MeWe. 
We hope you enjoyed this program. We hope you will share with others. And as always, we thank you for listening.